I want us to play a game. So everybody up, 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 up. Get a friend, get a friend, get a friend. I need a friend right here. Ted, come, be my friend. My friends who are watching us, get a friend. Or Auntie Shamsa here can be your friend. So the game is called grab a finger. Grab a what? Finger. Very good. So one of the friends puts out their palm and the other person puts their pointing finger in their palm. And at the count of three, Chloe, put your hand. At the count of three, make sure you grab a finger or make sure you remove your palm. Are we ready? Yes. Come on, are we ready? Yes. Come on, guys, are we ready? Yes. One, two, three. Did anybody grab a finger? Did you grab a finger? Okay, we are going to change. We are going to change. Now, if your palm was down, now you're done pointing. Auntie Shamsa, make sure you point. Okay, are we ready? On the count of three, make your hand straight, Ted, up a straight palm. Okay, one, two, three, go! Yeah! Somebody grabbed my finger, somebody grabbed my finger. So today is another day in the house of the Lord. And before we get started, I want us to pray. So put your hands together and close your eyes as Chloe leads us in prayer. Let's pray. Father, I want to thank you for this day. I want to thank you for the gift of life. I want to thank you that we have, begin, we have begun this month successfully. May you bless us, Lord. May you protect us, Lord. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 So everybody get some space, even as Auntie Pesh comes to lead us in praise and worship. children that this song is about the Holy Spirit because the Bible tells us in the book of Acts that the Holy Spirit came upon the disciples and there was a rushing and a mighty wind 
Why don't we pray together that Holy Spirit will even fill us right now, even before we begin our lesson. Jesus, we pray that your Holy Spirit will come upon each and every one of us today. We pray, Lord Jesus, that as he came on the very first day of Pentecost, may we experience him. So Holy Spirit, we invite you in our lives. We invite you even as we learn from, 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 from God's word today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, amen. Well, if there is a chair next to you, please feel free to sit down. Please feel free to sit down. Nice. We are here and today is the fourth day of February. Can you imagine? It is already February and we want to thank God for January, the month that passed by. I know many of you are getting ready to go to school. I know some of you are already back in school, but for us, we are here today. And I want you to know that we love you and we are praying for you. Today, we are going to learn about the Holy Spirit. We are learning about the Holy Spirit. Let me ask, have you heard about the person called Holy Spirit? What have you heard about Holy Spirit? Who wants to go first? Yes, Joanna. Uncle, if you can share your mic. Uh, what I know about the Holy Spirit, he speaks to us when we are confused. He speaks to us when we are confused. Very good. If Joanna can use your mic, Uncle Paul, that would be good. Yes. The, what I know about the Holy Spirit, he comes to live inside you when you trust Jesus. He lives inside your heart when you say yes to Jesus. What do you know about the Holy Spirit, Esther? He guides us. He guides us. That is very correct. Holy Spirit guides us. Now, if you have an answer, please type it in the chat section and we shall be able to see what you think about the Holy Spirit. So I want to ask my friend Ray to please read for us from the Bible who the Holy Spirit is. He's going to read from Acts chapter 1, verse 8. But you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you. And you will be my witness, telling people about me everywhere. In Jerusalem, throughout Judah, in Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. So Holy Spirit is a person, he's a friend on the inside, whom Jesus gave to his disciples right before he went back to heaven. So we are going to sing this song, inviting Holy Spirit to come and rest on us as well. Because like we have read, like we have had answers from our friends, Holy Spirit is our friend on the inside. Holy Spirit is the one that guides us. Holy Spirit is the one that tells us what to do. Holy Spirit is the one that reveals to us the things from God. So even as Auntie Pesh leads us in this next song, I want you to ask God to fill you with the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name.
That is the prayer of our hearts. Come on, children, raise up your hands to Jesus and ask him to fill you up with his Holy Spirit. Say, Holy Spirit, come and fill me up today. The Bible tells us that if we ask, we shall receive. So today, oh God, we ask that you fill us up with your Holy Spirit. I pray, oh Jesus, that you fill up every boy and every girl, oh Jesus, every auntie and every uncle, every mom and every dad, oh God, with your Holy Spirit, oh Lord. Father, it is written, oh God, in the Bible that on the day of Pentecost, that the Holy Spirit came upon everybody who was in that room, oh God. So it is my prayer today, oh God, for each and every one of us, oh God, Holy Spirit will come upon us. So come now, Holy Spirit, and rest upon us. Come now, Holy Spirit, and live in us. Come now, Holy Spirit, and teach us the word of God. Come now, Holy Spirit, and guide us in your ways. We thank you. We thank you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, amen. You see, children, the Holy Spirit is a person. In fact, Holy Spirit is is God. Now you do not see him coming and opening up your chest and sitting inside your heart but the Holy Spirit, we see the things that he does when he comes into our lives. It's just like on a windy day. Do you ever see the wind? Can everybody try and blow some air on their hands and try to grab the wind? Everybody try. One, two, three, go. Did anyone grab the wind? Can you share it with me? Can you show me? So same thing with the Holy Spirit. On a windy day, we see the trees and the leaves shaking, but then we do not see the wind. Same thing with the Holy Spirit. Now, the Bible tells us that Jesus gave us the Holy Spirit so that he could do many things for us. And I want us to read together from the Bible. If you can turn to your Bibles to the book of John, chapter 14 and verses 26, and Ted is going to read for us. The Helper, the Holy Spirit whom the Father will send in my name, will teach you everything and make you remember all that I have told you. Thank you so much, Ted. So from this scripture, we see three things that the Holy Spirit helps us with. Holy Spirit teaches us. Holy Spirit reminds us. 
and the Holy Spirit helps us. And I know on our own, we cannot do these things. For example, we can't understand the subjects that the teachers teach us unless Holy Spirit helps us. You see, it is not easy for us to be good children who obey, who respect, who speak kind words unless the Holy Spirit helps us. So even as we prepare to pray about how the Holy Spirit can help us by teaching us, by guiding us, by reminding us, I want us to sing this song. This sing song simply says, Calm down, Holy Spirit. I know you are here. Move and rest upon us. My prayer is that you make it your prayer. That even as you sing, Holy Spirit will come down upon you. Even as we sing and as we prepare to pray. Auntie Pesh, why don't you lead us in this song? Calm down, Spirit, when you move, you make my heart pound. When you fill the room, you're here and I know you are moving. I'm here and I know you will feel me. Calm down, Spirit, when you move, you make my heart pound. When you fill the room, you're here and You make my heart Come on, let's sing it out, children You're here and I know you are moving I'm here and I know you will feel me Calm down Spirit, when you move, you make my heart pound When you feel the room You're here and I know you are moving I'm here and I know you will feel me I want to sing the verse together we are calling upon that spirit that rested upon the waters in the beginning. Are you ready? As the spirit was moving over the water, spirit come move over us. Come rest on us. Come rest on us. As the spirit was moving over the water, spirit come move over us. Come rest on us. my heart pound when you feel the
you make my heart pound when you feel the room you're here and i know you are moving i'm here and i know you will feel me come on children just place your hands on your chest and just begin to say holy spirit fill me holy spirit rest upon me right now holy spirit i need you holy spirit i want you come on in your own words boys and girls mummies and daddies aunties and uncles just begin to ask the holy spirit to rest upon you just begin to desire him in the name of jesus oh holy spirit we ask move in us oh god rest upon each and every one of us oh lord my god oh jesus we long for holy spirit Come now, Holy Spirit. With our eyes closed and all of us still yearning and longing for Holy Spirit and needing Him, I'm going to ask Jessica to lead us in a prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, I would like to thank for this day. Thank, for th thank you for bringing us here to church. As, as some of us have started school, help us to do what the Holy Spirit tells us and help us to apply what we have learned today. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Amen. We are still praying. Joanna? Dear Jesus, I thank you for this day. Thank you for everyone. Thank you that you helped us to make it to church. Thank you that we begin some of us have begun school i pray that as we have begun school that we may listen to what the teachers tell us so you can excel holy spirit i pray that you may help us to have a listening spirit in just now prayed amen. amen we are still praying esther heavenly father we thank you for today we thank you for the gift of life we pray that you may guide us in all that we do guide us in our school work guide us at home at church and everywhere may you be with us and help us in everything we do in Jesus name I've prayed and Lord Jesus we continue to pray that throughout this week you fill us with your Holy Spirit again I pray Lord Jesus that throughout this week you give us the gifts of the Holy Spirit that the boys and girls of oh God will prophesy your oh God they will lay their hands on the sick and the sick will be healed. I pray, Lord God, that you give the boys and girls words of knowledge. I pray, Heavenly Father, that you fill them, O oh God, and that people around them will know that these are your children and they have the Holy Spirit living on the inside of them. I pray, Lord God, they will have love in their hearts. They will have joy in their hearts, O oh God. They will be peace lovers, O oh God. They will have self-control in the name of Jesus. Father, I pray that in this week that we begin begin today oh God Holy Spirit you begin to show the boys and girls the right way to walk in the right direction oh God the right paths to take the right choices to make oh Lord Father I pray that even as we've prayed for Holy Spirit to come and rest upon us oh God I pray it will not only end today oh God but it will be for all the days of our lives so we thank you and we honor you in Jesus' name we pray and all God's children say amen 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 well children our service has come to an end but i want you to write down these verses the ones we have read today about holy spirit and throughout the whole week i want you to pray through them acts chapter 1 verse 8 and then also john chapter 14 verse 26 these have been our verses for today read through them pray through them and when holy spirit does things in your life please do let us know well before we close the service we want to sing one more song are you ready yes. come on friends are you ready well let's rise up on our feet and let us praise jesus one more time come right now holy spirit 